just doing a final check, Spike. But what about after the coronation? Don't you think things are going to be different? Well, since I'll be in charge of all the Canterlot gallows from now on, I'll have to go there a lot more. So I guess that's different, but I don't think I mind. No, of course not. Wonderful work, everyone. We couldn't be more ready. Josephine, if you and the rest of the devs leave now, we should all arrive in Canterlot at the same time. Eloise and Hubert, you should go too. I know it's a long way, but don't worry. I'll bring plenty of snacks to restore your energy before we perform. Everyone else gets to ride, since the trip's too much for your little wings. We need everyone in tip-top shape for the coronation.
decision to change my design for your gown by including the webs of these star spiders. They go for a short while after they're spun. They won't have much time to weave the sash, but the effect will be dazzling. You see, darling, change can be fabulous if you embrace it. You know what? I think you're right, Twilight. I should take my comics to Canterlot. I can't leave the Power Ponies behind. I don't think the Power Ponies care, Spike. Just like all of our friends. All right, Twilight. Are you ready? We all wanted to see you off, but there's still a lot to do. or we won't know who gets what deliveries. And I'm gonna meet the Wonderbolt so we can go over the routine one last time. I'm going with Gummy. He said he knows when the fireworks display should start, but does any pony really believe that? And I still need to pick up food for the swans and doves who flew ahead to Canterlot. If I don't get them fed, they'll be too pooped to perform. Well, I'll be living in Canterlot alone. I'd as well take the train alone, too. Bye, I guess. Oh, you won't be traveling alone, darling. I'll have just enough time on the train to weave the stuff by the sash for your gown. But we should leave now. There's no time to dawdle if you want the coronation to be perfect. That's the problem. You're also worried about making my coronation perfect, but I'm leaving Ponyville and none of you even care. <gasps> of course we care that you're moving, Twilight. I can't believe you think we don't. What could possibly make you think that? I tried to talk to you all about how I was feeling, but you seemed more worried about what you had to do for the coronation. I suppose it gave us something else to focus on. I knew you were worried about everything changing. I, I guess I thought if I made it seem like everything was okay, it would be. I was just trying to make you feel better. That way, I wouldn't feel so terrible. Before I moved to Ponyville, I didn't really know what friendship was. But when I imagine the future, all I can think about is that we won't be together. I'm literally moving away from you and it's terrifying. I'm scared too. Me too. Rattle to the car! Yep. I wouldn't say scared. But just because I won't say it doesn't mean I don't feel it. I'm gonna miss you so much. I just can't stop thinking about how much things are going to change. What, what if we don't see each other? What if we don't talk as much? What if we don't stay friends? <laughs> <laughs> thought I missed you. There's no time! Oh no, we missed it! Okay, we're on the train. Everything should be fine, right? I've worked out exactly how much time I needed to weave my stuff by the sash, and now I'm behind! I hope Big Mac can figure out who gets what deliveries on his own. I assume these contain the finest sparkling apple juice. <clears throat> yep. Oh, the sweet apple egg is applesauce for my coronation parfait. This is the applesauce. Uh, yep. I don't have the snacks the doves and swans will need to perform after their long flight. I'd better find the food car. And I need to meet the Wonderbolt. Where's the coronation team? Well, 
They, they waited, but when you didn't show, they thought you must have meant to meet outside of Canterlot. The only thing I'm worried about is Gummy handling the fireworks display. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, well, it could always be worse. <laughs> that was something. I was just about to say the same thing. I know maybe it wasn't the coronation you planned, but it's good to see all of you laughing. We wanted to give this to you before you left Ponyville, but things got a little hectic. Since you're moving away, we thought if you missed any of us, or Ponyville, this might help. Aww, it's a book of memories! And we all chipped in some. No matter how much things change, you always have this to look back on. I love it. Thank you so much. But I don't want to only look back. Obviously, the coronation wasn't perfect, but that doesn't matter. It's our relationships that really count, and we have to maintain them. But now that we'll be living in different places, I'm not exactly sure how. I am. I suggest we meet once a moon. In fact, my first royal decree as ruler of Equestria is to establish this council of friendship. Okay, 
this is my only nitpick in the episode. Wasn't the Council of Friendship already established back in Twilight's Kingdom? Although, it wasn't actually stated, rather it was implied. Wait a minute. I came up with the name of Council of Friendship back in my Twilight's Kingdom review with A and Y. Flashback. Although, the interior is where it's at, as we see the main room has a round table for the main six and Spike. The Council of Friendship, if you will. The Council of Friendship, if you will. The Council of Friendship. Dang it, Haber, you do watch my reviews, don't you? Whoa, whoa, slow down there, Sure Club Pones. Not really sure if the writers were ever contractually allowed to watch fan reviews or not. Hey, we actually buried the hatchet, thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, really? Yep, we ran into each other at BronyCon, and we're pretty much square. Well then, good for you, man. <laughs> so, th th that's it then? Shipping jokes! It's a contagious laugh or. I think the fact Miss Keyframe has made the effort to put us in a large magical box is proof enough that will never happen. Are we seriously doing this? Think of it as a metaphor. We've all been through so much together, be it collabs, projects, friendships, and strong bonds. Do you really think that will all end just because we'll no longer be attending one convention together? Are we seriously applying a deeper meaning to kidnapping? If anything, this box represents the strength in our friendships. As long as we're together, whether in a box, or in projects, or even our hearts. It doesn't matter where or when we meet up, because we'll always be here. Our ties together are much like the strength of this box. Kidnapping is still kidnapping! Seriously, why is no one trying to stop her? MLP Generation 4 may be ending, but our friendships won't, as long as we remember the bonds we've made together. Nice sentiment, Dr. Pepper. And now I'm really craving a Dr. Pepper. No, 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 stick to the New Year's resolution. What a wonderful decree it is. We always knew that whatever adversity you faced, you and your friends would find your way through it together. We know Equestria is in the perfect hooves with you and your friends looking out for it. And while we'll always be here if you need us, it's time for us to be on our way. We hope you'll come and visit us in Silver Shoals, but now it's time for you to rule on your own. You're all more than capable. Thank you for everything.